Hello, people to Squash Corner. We're gonna open some wishables again. Hope let's get started. I don't want to waste your time. Let's do it. All right, this is a little exciting because I had these for a very long time. Kind of waited, so we'll go in order. So I have two of these wishables. I have one of the Monsters Inc. ones because last time we got Boo and hopefully I really want the taxi. And I have two other stray wishables to take a look at, so we'll go in that order. Boys and ghouls, let's get started. I want Mr. Toad the most, then probably Caterpillar. And these are probably the same, Tiki Bird and Sky Bucket. I really want Mr. Toad though. Ah, anticipation, I had these for like a month. And fuck, I fucked up the packaging. It's really pretty, but whatever. What is it? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I got the Allison Wonderland Caterpillar. Oh, that's great. Yeah, he's like the second one I want the most. I I'm really curious um, if a wishable could actually sit on this. I bet a zoom zoom can fit. All right, let's go to the details. I'm really happy that it has the blush, but I'm pretty sure it's preserved because it was in the packaging. It's very hard to find a wishable with blush these days because people touch them a lot. And uh, he's more the just the design of like his back. So actually, I guess this is a fun fact. So yeah, um, if you're not from, if you don't go to Disneyland. You can't experience this ride, said, like, because I just noticed the dark ride Alice in Wonderland, I believe, is only in Disneyland. Yeah, so I think these are specifically Disneyland oriented wishables. So, yeah, this is just like, it's a really neat, iconic cart from Fantasyland. I love his expression, he looks so displeased. It's got the arms crossed. You could actually, it's stitched together, so you could actually put your finger in, which is really cute. And yeah, I'm really happy. This is probably one of the better wishables that are out there. This looks really great. I love the stitching for the eyes, and I feel like, ooh, even his mouth is stitched. I feel like they didn't pull corners and print anything really on him besides this. All of this looks stitched and really great. All right, we could probably take a look at the next one. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the package ones. Here's the in one of the individual ones I got. We got Woody here. All right, so I kind of wanted oh this one a lot. Is that because, well, like, I like Woody as a character. I think he's great. He's he's a very complicated character, if you will. But what makes this so special is he has the Midway Mania little targets. I feel like this is what made me really want him because it's, like, it's specifically not really Toy Story. It's specifically that ride. And I feel like, you know, in the gift shop of that ride, there's no really, I don't think, merch specifically of Mid Midway Mania. It's usually of Toy Story itself. Uh, so let's look at the details really quick. I think it's really cute that they added the printing of Andy. Oh, I just noticed he, his foot becomes Bonnie later. Oh, so this is like a prequel. <laughs> if you will, fuck, that's sad. Um, does he have his pull string on his back? Oh, it's a little stitched. That'd be great if it was an actual thing you could actually, not pull, but if it was like a string attached, that'd be really neat. But nah, uh, sadly... His whole outfit is printed. I kind of wish it was like in a little shirt, but maybe it would have cost probably more if that was the case. Because I feel like right here is really plain of this, the because there's no stitch work really, uh, except for these collars. That's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty cool detail. Uh, something I don't like though is a lot of the guy wishables, females included. Um, they have the stitching where the neck is, of course, because they're supposed to be all chibi and cute. But it comes off as really like potatoy. I don't. Know, it, it's just it's a little silly. Um, I don't think that pretty much human characters translate very well into wishable form. I think he's okay. I honestly think the boo, how he, she looked, looked worse. So I think I'll take it. This is not too bad. The hat. They they kind of put a little little frills on the stitching. I kind of wish that these, like, design was actually, like, kind of, like, cut. All of this is just printing. I kind of wish that this was, like, cut to add a little more dynamic to the hat. But, yeah, you could actually pull it up. Yeah, you could actually pull it up and you can see the good details of his hair. Look at the back. Nothing too special in his hair section. You see that the hat is actually connected to his head. And there's no way of pulling it off, uh, clearly. But yeah, I think this is a really good one. And here's his tag. Oh yeah, let's test this out. Could he fit on him? He can. It's kind of cute. Aw, oh, does, it, does it not? It kind of does. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. Yeah, you could actually put your wishables here. You could also probably put zoom zooms. It would probably fit 
better. Yeah, most likely I'm gonna display it like this, or like one of my favorite, more favorite wishables. I'm probably gonna display it like this. This is really cute. So we could actually check right now if uh, a zoom zooms fit. So yeah, we could put a zoom zoom here. It's a little more silly because uh, the way they're angled. So it works like this. It's, yeah, maybe lie down like this. That's not too bad. You could kind of like stack them. So like, yeah, you could put like a zoom zoom there. Probably like do something like that. You could kind of do this. This is a little of a stretch. <laughs> but this is kind of, this is, you know, it's, it works. All right, before we get to the last Disneyland specific wishable, we're gonna open this one because yeah, we're aiming for that car. Let's do this. I picked this up in downtown Disney to look at the Halloween stuff. I actually made a vlog, a frog vlog in my channel. If you're interested of checking that out, because yeah, uh, that's where I bought this. So let's do it at, not Shop Top, but yeah, World of Disney is where I picked it up. <gasps> no way! Yes! <gasps> yes! That is fucking awesome! I did not expect this. I thought this was a little too small when I grabbed it. I was like, this is not the taxi. This is probably like Roz, because it's very like potato-y. But no, we got it. This is a great video so far. Holy shit. Alright, details. It has the cute little teeth. If you're not aware, this is the card vehicle. Well, this is Mike's car, technically, I'm pretty sure. But this is the vehicle you ride in the California Adventure uh, Monsters, Inc., right? I forgot what it's called. It, it got rid of Superstar Limo, if <laughs> if you know what that is. But yeah, this is neat. Uh, it's a little simplistic, though. Like, yeah, printing. Um, I actually, no, they have stitching of the wheels. That's a good touch. They got the license plate. Grrr. 555 Fangs, 2319. Oh, that's a cute a little Easter egg. Now uh, I can see the back windows, and yeah, I think this was actually, ugh, I kind of want a mic now to, to sit on the car, that would be actually really cool. I could put Boo in the car actually, if I really want to, but I really, I, I'm gonna be real, I really don't like the Boo wishable, it looks kind of gross. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so wait, we gotta do the test, let's do the test. Blood on the saddle, Blood on the ground. Okay, we picked up, uh, I also picked up Big Al from the Country Bears Wishable. And this might actually be like 100%, wait. Yeah, we still need to open another thing. Uh, I forgot. But, but pretty much, this at the moment, I might, I really want Mr. Toad, but right now, this is my favorite one. I think there's a lot of detail going on here, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. Let's go back to the car. Can it sit? Oh, that's, that's, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cute, Oh, I'm happy, I'm a happy customer, these are $10 each, I think that was worth my investment. Well, let's go back, so they, yeah, he can actually sit, I'm probably gonna display it like that, because that's awesome. So, oh, yeah, the blush is gonna remove eventually, that's just typical. I love the stitching of the eyes, it has these little, like, horn antenna things, uh, for a little detail, all stitch work. And, uh, ooh, that looks suggestive. But, um, overall, this is, this is a good wishable. I'm really happy I got this. I think this is worth my K-ish. Going to Big Al. This guy, to me, looks more than $10 from how happy I am of how he came out. He's got the blush. This will leave over time. That's just how it is. He's got the texture of the snout. I feel like from the wishables I had, they don't have that. It adds a little more dynamic, a little more personality, and it doesn't look, it, like, flat. Um, they also add to the stitching of his, like, little coat, and it's cute, too. It has a little print right here. It, lo it looks like a, like a picnic ta uh, blanket, in a sense. They add, oh, they even add stitching here. That's great. They add the little detail here of just, like, it. it's really thin, but, yeah, his nails or his claws actually have a texture to it. Uh, the guitar, I'm happy they even put the guitar, but yeah, the guitar's really basic, it's just like one little flat sheet, but I think it's a really good, it's, whoa, I didn't even notice that, it's, it's a really good detail, it, his guitar says Big Al, that's pretty cool. Uh, alright, yeah, it's stitching in his eyebrows also, okay, uh, let's talk about this real quick. These characters have hats? I think they did a better job of Big Al for the hat. I think it just adds way more personality that they added, like, these, that they stitched. 
Uh, they put, yeah, they little put a stitch here to add a little more, like, personality in the hat. Because, yeah, it, like, curves. And it has shape and dimension. I really like that. I think this came out really nice. Let's look at his tail really quick. Yeah, they had the detail of the tail. So happy it's a piece. It's not printed on. Uh, that's it. I, I think one of the Mickey wishables have that where it's printed. It's not in an actual tail. And yeah, um, he even has frills in the corners. This wishable is probably the best one. This is great. I love this thing. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> I think we only have one more bag to open. <laughs> so shit. Alright. Um, uh, you, you be off. And you, you leave. We're, we're gonna go through the last box. Alright, dudes. Last one. Ah, man. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of fun with this video. I'm gonna be totally honest. Like, this was actually really exciting. So, but to, like, to end all be all, the best thing possible is the Mr. Toad. That'd be fucking <laughs> amazing. Uh, there's chases of the Sky Bucket, so the Sky Buckets could be rare if, uh, like, I think there's a white and a green one or something like that. So that'd be neat, but I really... He's hes my bread and butter. I love this guy. I love his little short. And in the short after Ichabod and... Uh, Big Ichabod Crane. It's so amazing. Aww. Oh, I love the packaging. Nah, it's gone. I'm sorry. It's such a pretty packaging and it's ruined. What's even in the back? Oh, here's the back detail. I kind of missed out on that. Contains one of four. Yay. Oh, what does it say right here? Wishables are the magic of Disney parks. Oops. That come to life. These soft, huggable friends join all of your adventures and see that magic you can make. I, I think that's what it says. No, no, no. The friend's lucky, right? Are you dead? They fucked me. <laughs> they fucked me. I don't hate it. This is a cool one. But you... Really? Ah! Uh, look at him. He's like, what? You don't like me? You little, little bitch. <laughs> you have a problem? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. You got a problem? Huh? Huh? You don't like us? Bitch. <laughs> so, uh... Fuck. That kind of sucks. Like... Okay, I should be happy. I got... The second one I wanted? The taxi, and uh, I should be happy, but really, dude, they really just like grabbed the same lot and threw it in the bot, the shipping boxes. Ah, oh, man, this is not the worst thing ever, because uh... <laughs> yeah, but pretty much this is what we're working with. Do you think I got lucky? Are you pleased with what I picked up? And hopefully, I could pick up some more a little later. I think that's pretty much all I really have to say. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a smooch. And that's pretty much it. I bid you guys farewell. Later and... Oh yeah, I have uh, others. Yeah, yeah, these are others from, you know, stuff from other wishables. Alright, goodbye guys. <laughs>